Oh, bloody egg. Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J. And Manchester United have lost 8-7 to Middlesbrough on penalties in the fourth round of the FA Cup. Yep, another trophy gone. Down the drain. What a fucking joke. I am so done with this season. Season over in February. That is it. Kaputski. We're done. I've had enough. Seriously, bro. I mean, so many fucking chances. We could have won that about 7 or 8 nil. in the chances we missed. Absolute joke. And the middle stroke goal. Oh, my fucking goodness me. Handball. Literally, that was handball. And they still gained the goal. The player handballed it. He passed it to his teammate. And his teammate put it in the net. Handball. But VAR gained the goal. Fuck VAR, man. Seriously. Absolute joke. I mean, but we've only got ourselves to blame. We just did not take our chances last night. Absolutely dreadful. Really. I mean, that first half, i got to say, that was our best first half under Ralph Ranjak so far. But the second half... We just struggle to maintain that consistency. It sums us up in a nutshell. We cannot play well both halves. I just don't understand it. I'm so bloody frustrated. I really am. I so wanted us to go as far as possible in the FA Cup and try and win it. Because realistically, this was our last chance to win a trophy this season. I mean, we're still in the Champions League, but... Are we going to win the Champions League? Are we? Fuck. This team is not consistent enough. So this will be six years without a trophy. Which that's the first time since about... Like, wow. It's a staggering statistic the last time it happened. But unacceptable. It really is. So a club like Manchester United to go... That long without winning a trophy, not good enough. It's seriously, bro. Serious questions have got to be asked. I mean, Ronaldo, poor. He missed the penalty and then missed a couple golden opportunities. Oh, yeah, happy birthday to Ronaldo today. 37 today. As he was playing on the eve of his birthday, but I'm actually recording this today on his birthday but yeah not good enough just Bruno good in the first half but the second half poor very poor Pogba thought he did okay in the first half you know came back into the game well but second half looking very leggy so in the end had to come off and Fred come on I mean Phil Jones coming on in extra time what the fuck was that all about? Phil Jones coming on. Seriously, Brun. I mean, he should be nowhere near this Manchester United team. And he came on as a substitute in the second half. What the fuck? Rashford, well, he had a couple good chances to score. He did put one shot in the net, but that was offside. But yeah. I mean, I was fuming at that middle sort of goal. Absolute, that, no way should that have been a goal. That is absolute bullshit at the highest level. That really was. But look, it is what it is. And just simply not clinical enough. And we only had ourselves to blame. Some of the penalties, though, absolutely fantastic, you know, by Middlesbrough and us as well. But Anzi Alanga, ah. Oh, Gutted for the young lad. I really am. I mean, but apparently he's been getting a bit of abuse on social media. Absolutely disgusting. He's one of our youth team players. And that pressure was massive on him. So I'm not going to go off on one to him. Because I feel sorry for the lad. I really do. But fans giving him abuse. Absolute disgrace. You call yourself fans? No way, you fans. Get away from our football club. Also, fans booing that old Trafford before halftime because there was a Tannoy announcement that no food or drinks could be served during halftime. And 
the whole whole trapper boomed and then the chance glaciers out starts it happening absolutely fantastic just shows that our stadium needs repairs but these fucking lazy cunts won't repair it but it is what it is they don't care about maintaining the stadium but us fans do we want old trappers maintained anyway let's get on to our rating shall we Course Dean Henderson coming in for David De Gea. I mean, he didn't have much to do in the game, but when he was called into action, that scene he made was like a De Gea scene. Seven. Yeah, I thought he did well, Dean Henderson. Did De Gea de low? Six. He did okay. Harry Maguire? Six. He did okay. Wasn't really tested too much, to be honest. Raphael Horan, six. He did okay as well, but again, not really tested. Luke Shaw, seven. Thought he defended very well. Scott McTominay, six. Yeah, thought he did okay. Paul Pogba, seven. Settles very well back in the team. Bruno Fernandes, six. I mean... He's good in the first half, but by an average in the second half. Yep, so six to Bruno Fernandes. Jaden Sancho, six. I thought he did okay. Marcus Rashford. Well, actually, Sancho, I'm going to give him a seven because that was a great goal he scored. So, And he looks very lively, Sancho, so seven. And like with the situation with Greenwoods now, it really is an opportunity for Sancho to shine. Marcus Rashford, five. Dreadful. Not good enough. Cristiano Ronaldo, four. Dreadful. Missed that penalty and missed so many chances in the game. Not good enough by Ronaldo last night. And you know me, I'm a Ronaldo longer, but if he has a bad game, I will say it how it is. He was shocking last night. Not good enough. Man of match, I'll probably give it to Jaden Sancho. Manager ratings. Ralph Ranyak for his team selection. 8 out of 10. Thought he did. I came with the team selection. I was happy in the lineup. Chris Wilder for his team selection. 8 out of 10. I mean, he set up middle for well. But, yeah, look. We're out in the FA Cup, which I'm gutted about because... I thought we had a chance of winning it, but honestly not. It just sums this season up in a nutshell. I am so done with it. Bye-bye.